work on some of these chocolate covered espresso beans. Mm. Oh, it's on. YouTube pipe tobacco enthusiasts. This first of the year. What I got for you is a just my top ten list of my favorite pipe tobaccos of 2015. Well, I, have, I actually haven't had anything to to smoke in a pipe for like three or four weeks. So this list has kind of been ready to go. I was hoping to crack into some new tins before the end of 2015. But rest assured, I got a lot more new sexy pipe tobacco choices coming. So number ten, this blend is called. Highland Breeze. I got it from Karen's Tobacco Shop in Canyon, Texas. Now, I don't expect very many of y'all to even know where that is, but south of Amarillo, in the town square of this little town called Canyon, Texas, there's a uh, little mom-and-pop tobacco shop. And I asked, you know, what do y'all have that's good? And she said that their favorite, their best one is called Highland Breeze. Kind of like a... It's like a crossover blend. It's got it's aromatic with some Latakia in it, I do believe. Very nice. Very tasty. And now I have a live audience. I'm only doing this once, so don't interrupt me. Um, number nine. Get out of here! Number nine is Old Shenandoah number 76. I think you can get this in bulk now. I don't know. But it's just a very simple, very tasty, aromatic blend. Uh, I guess people say it's like 1Q, and that might be everybody's little go-to for aromatic. I like that one. All right. Number eight. I don't have this on me. All right. And this is one of the very first lot of Kia blends I smoked. Uh, Mr. Gateway City Chris, I bought a pipe off him, and he sent me a sample of Boswell's Northwoods. Now, I had that several years ago. It was my very first lot of Kia blend, and I loved it. It's got that real good campfire barbecue-y taste to it. Just the essence of lot of Kia is really good. <laughs> it's really good. So, Northwoods from Boswell's. Uh, number seven is kind of similar. It's uh, I got a sample of it from Nashville Pipe Show. I bought a moonshine pipe, and they included some of their triple X blend. And I believe it is available in bulk from Pipes and Cigars. And I know that Mr. Kevin Reynolds, Naked Cartwheel King, Ballistic Tip 33, Arkansas, Rambler, I don't know. I know he loves the Triple X blend from Moonshine Pipes. And I love it too. I smoked through that really quick. Number six, this is going to be probably a sexy pick that not everybody... I know Michael Bradley likes this blend, and I've seen a few people smoking it. But how about some Two Friends Heritage Blend? Now this is actually one of the very first pipe tobacco blends I ever smoked back in like 2009, 2010. It's got some burly, and it's got some red and lemon Virginias. And it's just got an interest. it's like a hmm. It's got that nice over-the-counter burly smell to it, but it's got some good, nice, tasty Virginias in there. Really good. Now, the two friends that they're talking about is GLP's and Elder Tarler. Now, when they blended this together, it is said that the Elder Mr. Tarler, this was the only blend he smoked for the rest of his life. So, pretty good. I like it, and I intend to have more of it. Is that a Tim McGraw song? Okay. Anyway, um, that's number six. Number five. Now, this is going to be my Virginia pick. Because you got to have a Virginia pick. Number five is McClellan's Virginia, number 22. Really good. Excellent in a cob. I mean, it's it's McClellan. And they make a lot of great Virginias. I think the new sexy pick this, this year is their red and black or their black and red. I haven't had that yet. But... McClellan's number 22, classic, excellent blend. Number four, <laughs> really good stuff. Dunhill Nightcap. I will always have some Nightcap in my home. It's really good, a lot of Kia blend. Number three, and I think now, this one has been my 
uh, number one last year. This is my number three now. I still, I don't love it less. I just I love it, but how about some Frog Morton Cellar? This, this is like my, still my first tin. It's still got the little, the little whiskey barrel thing in there. I mean, oh man, this is your, your, it's got the Latakia taste, but it is an aromatic crossover. This is not a pure Latakia blend. This is an aromatic crossover. It's got whiskey flavoring with Latakia. But it's good. Number two. Well, I rank this one really high. And if you ever watch, if you watched Elliot, None Your Damn Business, he told the story. This is the same story that I have. It happened to him in Chicago, but it happened to me in Nashville. I went to the Cornell and Deal table and started talking to the guys, you know, the guys that run Cornell and Deal. And I was, they were like, hey, you want a sample? I was like, sure. What do you suggest? And they, they talked about, like, what kind of, what I like, my tastes. And they tailored their pick to what I wanted to try. And they gave me a sample of... Joie de Vivre. And Joie de Vivre by Cornell and Deal. It's their new seller series. I mean, it's really good. I don't have any. I mean, you can you can pretend that this Highland Breeze is the Joie de Vivre, but that ain't it. All right. Really good stuff. I'm going to be making another order from, like, Smoking Pipes or Pipes and Cigars or something pretty soon. And that's definitely going to be on there for sure. Now, what's the number one pipe tobacco for me? Balkan Blue. Now, I still have some Blue Mountain. I still have the original tin of Blue Mountain, but Balkan Blue. It's a great lot of Kia blend. It's got a little bit of sweetness. It's just perfect, and I'm always going to have it. Thanks, McClellans, and thank you all for watching my list. Smell my beard. Dun, dun, dun. I don't really say that much anymore. Thank you for watching my video. God bless you all and smell my beard.